Okay, Ryan here, DIY in 4D, and we're making a little part two video of this Craig Cat Elite 2 20th edition, mainly just because I uh, had an interest in buyer. His name's John. Hey, how's John? If you're watching this, I hope all, all well, all is well there. It's almost Christmas. But it was a good question there. What's the, the hole like, the underneath? It's hole. And so I went out and took some more photos and learned a, a couple things there that I didn't even know before. So on this design, the 28th edition, the hole actually had a black coating separate from the white. So that black coating is more durable. And uh, I put some of that stuff in there now. You could always pause the video to read that. Uh, but it, it went into the process of what is roto molding. It's just a way that they make the actual resin stronger with one mold. And then on that bottom hole, they went ahead and put a black, more durable uh, mix to that polyurethane so that the bottom that gets more contact would be longer lasting and also maintenance free or as less maintenance as possible. Obviously you can wash with soap, but uh, that's a great design there on a kind of a two part system for its coating with, without having paint so that plastic that resin is actually coated just left California. and then now and we're just some here's Arizona. some videos all right so none of these are edited so far sorry what do you say captain love it and, and uh smooth it's easy to control but to get in the nooks and crannies really well on the coastline of the of the lake So far, what, what's the, the best thing about it? Watch yourself there. It just feels nice because you feel tucked away. You don't feel like you're causing a lot of uh, distractions to the to everyone else or anything. You just feel like you're Watch going that. right into these coves and relaxing and not really taking away from the environment. All right, that's a pretty dangerous little yeah, I'm sure right some boats actually got clipped on that one. That little jagged knife is pretty nasty. So we went around and checked a ton of these little coves. Little we were out there for about maybe three hours. And we're two big guys, man. Easily. 250 is Tanner and I'm 230. So if we got it up to about 20 knots. There's a lot of drag for us. We're pushing the envelope. Plus we had a little extra gear with fishing and backpack and stuff. Yeah, but it tells you really too, we both were able to stand up and how really stable that design is. So very impressed. I were this little cove right here. And the wakes take a little spot. time to come in, but that was this little video here was about trying to show how stable it was when a big powerboat went by, and, and pretty well. you didn't get too bothered by it. It's doing so good. The wakes. So, there it is. So There's far, a clip. it's a pretty good little wake. Pretty good wake coming in. It's stable. It's pretty shallow where we're at, too, so it's a good indicator. Dude, really? That's a freaking cast. <laughs> He'd never fished before, so that was only a little bit. So it's really cool. Hit that cast. All right, so this is a good little clip of getting some speed for as much drag as is there. You're killing it, bro. Yeah, that's I, nice. I, wait, that's I did it. You're doing really good. When I first went out, I got it up to about 20. All right, do a nice little 360 miles per hour. We didn't want to push it after that. We just kind of cruised around just to show that it's really good. Not much of a 360. I want to go check out some. Sorry of those about photos. that. Yeah, me too. We saw it there. Yeah. All right. Now go forward. That engine is an incredible engine. You can go about six hours without having to refuel, depending on your weight and conditions. All right, so, seven hours. so far so good. Yep, out here on Lake Havasu. Yep. Great cat's killing it. 
so quiet. So powerful, too. All right, so that's the end of the videos, and uh, you can see those lines on the design. The roto mold allows for that thing to spin the way it's designed, is that's all one piece. So you're not talking about seams or anything like that, or glues. That's an extremely durable, well-designed pontoon, and then you have that durable finish.